Welcome to the Property Management Mastermind Show with your host, Brad Larson. Brad owns one of the fastest growing property management companies in San Antonio, Texas. This podcast is for property managers by property managers. You'll hear from industry leading professionals on best practices, new ideas, success stories, and lessons learned. This is your opportunity to learn about the latest industry buzz surrounding property management, as well as tips and strategies to improve your business. Now here's your host, Brad Larson. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on the Property Management Mastermind podcast. Be sure to check out our website at propertymanagementmastermind.com, where you will find all of our episodes, products, and services to review to include our newly launched BizDev Mastermind offering, which is consulting services for companies looking to hire and grow using a business development manager. You can visit that site at bizdevmastermind.com. In addition, I wanted to announce the Property Management Mastermind Annual Conference going on in Las Vegas, March 234 at the Mirage Hotel in 2020. Visit the website at pmmcon.com. If you sign up for the conference and both add-on seminars, you'll get a 10% discount. I look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Lastly, be sure to find us on Facebook to join the conversation of over 6,000 members in the Property Management Mastermind Facebook group. Are you tired of chasing tenants to comply with having renter's insurance? Insurance Management Group can solve this problem with a master tenant's insurance policy. Keep tenants in compliance with your lease agreement and help protect all parties involved. A master tenant's insurance policy can also add an additional revenue stream to your business. Contact Derek Scott at 918-728-8992 or visit imgadvisors.com. To learn more, listen to the Property Management Mastermind Show podcast, episode number 36. And welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Property Management Mastermind Show. I'm your host, Brad Larson, and today's guest, I have Mr. Kevin Knight here from Surevestor. And Kevin is a longtime friend and mentor of mine here in the San Antonio market. He took me under his wing way back when I was a rookie, rookie, rookie property manager here in the market trying to make a way. And Kevin has been a dear friend of mine for a long, long time. So I'm very glad to have him in studio today, which hardly ever happens because we're both in the San Antonio region market. And so I am proud to announce Kevin here with Surevestor. Kevin, how are you today? I'm great, Brad, but were you ever really a rookie? I don't know about that. <laughs> we, that's debatable, you know. It's, it's been always, a while. It's been a while. But yeah, we've been, uh, we've been friends for a long time, going through the property management toils and, and tribulations here in the San Antonio market. I'm very glad to have you guys on. So I want to give some background, too, of what Surevestor is. Um, you know, I'm going to give Kevin the floor, of course. He can talk to you a little bit more. But they've been developing this product in conjunction with uh, some overseas players, and Kevin's going to talk through this, but what they've done is they've come at this market with the perception of coming from property managers, for property managers. So I want to say that up front, at least for them, because they're all property managers. Yeah. The guys that formed this company and they run it like Kevin, they are property managers, so they have the property management company owner at heart uh, in every thought they do. So that's a big forefront of what you guys do. Okay, now I'm going to give you the floor. So Kevin, give us an intro. Well, hi guys, uh, Kevin Knight, and of course, um, longtime friend of Brad's here. And yes, I've been doing property management for longer than some of these property managers have been around nowadays. So I've been doing property management a little over 35 years and been a wonderful career for me. And I, actually, I think you know, property management is probably about one of the best businesses you could get into because it's like recession proof. It absolutely is. And there's so many different ways to make revenue out of it because it's uh, all the ancillaries. You have sales, you have maintenance, you have leasing, all the different ancillary businesses that you can create just on top of having a management company are fantastic. And this is one of the things we want to talk about today is obviously being able to generate more revenue, but yet protect your owners with what you guys are offering. So kind of give us a little bit, you know, what, what Surevestor is. I mean, if we had an elevator pitch, 30 seconds a minute, what do you think you could okay. say? Well, we'll do the elevator pitch first, just so okay. they know, just so they know what it is. So, Surevestor is an insurance program that covers what owners insurance doesn't cover. It addresses their owners' biggest fears. You know, when someone's turning over a two or three hundred thousand dollar house, their number one fear is malicious damage. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't see that too much, thank God, but that's their number one fear. Their their next their next fear and concern is the tenant's not going to pay me the rent. And then they have the eviction costs, you know, what, and, and the other things that come along. So kind of what I like to do is, you know, let's, let's go back and do a little history. Where did this come from? 
because um, you know we actually mirrored this out of Australia. And, and Brad's been to Australia. He's actually, I don't know if you guys know, but he's an international speaker as well as a- International. Like international a, speaker. Like, like San Antonio is an international airport because they have one yeah. flight a day to Mexico. So they're international, yeah. right. The smallest <laughs> airport around for the size of the city. But, but Brad's, a, Brad's spoken in Aus, Australia. I have two um, partners in this, in Shorevestor, um, Dave Holt, past national NARPA president. He's also spoken in Australia. Todd Bream, which a lot of people know, he has virtually incredible. Plus, yeah, he's also a property manager out of Florida. He's spoken in um, Australia. And I was fortunate enough to get invited to go to Australia to speak too. And one of the things we saw over there is just how different their property management market is. Um, one, I think one of the big things is like, you know, 70% of the properties over there are professionally managed. And there's a few reasons for that. One, one is they have, Tenants are what? Protective class? They always joke there. about that. They're like an like, endangered species, protected yeah. class there. And it's, it's, it's coming this way. And this is a good point I wanted to maybe parlay this into is that we're seeing this already. I mean, this week, we we're just talking about this in pre-show. This week, they just passed statewide rent control in California. So it's only a matter of time before this starts to come inland, as they say, and starts to affect or infect uh, what we're doing here in Texas and other states. And, you know, the challenge is, of course, you know, people always say that you may not need something like this in the beginning, but there's always going to be a need and it's ever, it's going to be ever developing because more legislation is getting passed all the time that makes something like this very attractive. And so that's sort of the bottom line, but we need to hear more details from you guys. So before you get into it, how do they check you guys out if they want to just kind of browse through the website and check you guys? Well, easy. They just go to shorevestor.com okay. and we have a four property manager section. And they will see a section for owners, but the big thing is, is owners cannot get this direct. They have to go through the property manager. So when owners, we, we get them all the time. They go to our website, they're like, oh, well, how do I get this? And, and we ask them, hey, you got a property manager? They say yes, then we're like, okay, hey, we'll call your property manager and we'll help you get on the program. If they say no, we say, do you want a property manager? Cause you have to have one. And if they say yes, then we, we hook them up for free. We, we don't charge for leads like a couple other companies out there. And so we'll, we'll get, uh, hook them up with a local property manager in their market, NARPA member, and, um, and get them going. But if they say no, they don't want one, we just tell them, we're sorry, we can't help you. You have to have a property manager to get this product. And that's kind of been one of the underlying rubs with some of the, the groups I've been seeing and some of the comments is that uh, they like the fact that they are potentially pushing the consumer to use a professional property manager, which actually is for the insurance company, it's their first filter. Their first filter of insurance, of, of making sure that they're not underwriting just the, the junk homes out there is going yeah. through a professional property manager. So if, because why? I mean, obviously we screen, we have good practices and procedures in place. We use a good lease agreements typically. Uh, we're typically licensed. I mean, there's a hundred different reasons on why, but that's the first filter of what an insurance company like Surevestor is looking for is to be able to go through a professional property management company. And so I think that's very popular and, and it's actually um, something that we would want, right? That way the consumer can't go around us. The SMIPO, as to quote Scott Brady, the self-managing individual property owner, SMIPO, it can't go around us and get these products without using a professional property manager. So it's, that's kind of stealing some of your thunder there, but I wanted to hone in on that because I think that's pretty important and I'm not going to say it's better or worse than any of the competition. I just say, okay, that's an interesting tidbit. And, you know, me as a property manager, that's, that's kind of cool. I like that. So I think that's a, a very good, good bonus for you guys. So tell me, you guys have been on the, the conference trail quite a bit for the last <laughs> year. And Kevin, you know, this is a side topic here. Uh, Kevin's lost over 50 pounds. Yeah. And uh, so he's done a great job of keeping slim, you know, just great stuff. It's part of our PM health group. On our Facebook group, our Facebook page, we have a PM health group. So the PMs can go in and join that and then they can get kind of a little bit of a motivation by seeing the PM health group. Kevin's a part of that. And so it's, uh, oh, don't even mention me. You don't have to no, go there. No, no, I don't want to go there. What I want to do is, um, so, you know, one of the things is we're, we're by property managers, for property managers, and you brought up the PM health group. Right. So one of the things Shorevestor wants to do, so, you know, at National next week, they have that 5K walk run. And there is a, a entry fee of like $56. So the, the first 10 people that like this video and they put that they would like to be sponsored, 
SureVestor will pay their sponsorship fee for the walk run because I'll tell you, one of the best ways you can improve your business is to take care of your health. If you're, you're more fit, you have more energy. So I want a big shout out for um, Pete Hernandez and Citizens for sponsoring this. And Wes and, Owens and, and, and Wes Will. Owens mm -hmm. and, and Will and just um, that, hey, you know, we're, we're for property managers. Guys, participate, um, get healthy. So we will do 10 sponsorships for the first people that say they would like sponsorships on this video. Yeah. Oh, Daisy wants to come check everything. <laughs> come on, get up here. Hello, there's Daisy. Okay, she can go take a nap now. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to business and talk yeah. more about Surebester. So let's talk implementation. So somebody comes in, they take a look at it, and they say, this is perfect for what we want. This is, this is ideal. Our owners want it. It's going to fit within our business model. What are your recommendations for implementation? All right. Well, so one of the things, there's such huge bullet points. You know, one of the things that I find that property managers have problems with is owners think we're all the same. They don't have a unique value prop. You know, and they sound the same. So a lot of times owners shop, shop property managers on price because they don't have this value prop. Well, with Shortvestor, we have some major coverages like $50,000 for malicious damage, you know, eight weeks on a skip. And so property managers are able to take these bullet points and put them in their services page. And we provide videos that you embed in your site. So you always want to keep people on your website. Yeah, the so marketing you, is key. I want to stop you there because I want you to keep going with the, some of the benefits with okay. the marketing side. I mean, that's, that's a big part of what we need to understand what people, you know, the, the listeners need to understand out there is this could be a very good marketing tool to help grow your business. So, so part of what we do is the biz dev mastermind, you know, we're always looking at angles and points of difference right. to differentiate us from the not so professional property management company out there. And this is a huge point because if somebody can get into this, they understand it, they can talk about it they can put this into their plans or potentially just one of their business models. They can quickly see that, Hey, this is a great point of difference for me. I can go to the owners uh, that we're trying to get signed up and get them to sign up because of this point of difference and this layer Huge. of protection. Yeah. So, so usually they put in a couple spots, they'll put it, they'll have a block. A lot of times they'll put on their services page just saying, Hey guys, because I'm a professional property manager, you have access to this, but then you're talking about the plan. So they have their pricing plans and, you know, some companies have a single tier. A lot of companies have gone to the, the multiple tier, three tier plans. And so a lot of times what they do is they'll have their premium tier and they'll put this in their premium tier and they'll have these bullet items, $50,000 malicious damage, eight weeks skip, um, 10 weeks eviction, you know, a writ, 12, 12 weeks, uh, $7,000 eviction costs, service animal damage, $1,000, rekeying $400. So, so they'll put all these different bullet points. They, we actually have too many for them to put all in their plan, but they'll take a lot of the main bullet points and they'll put those in their plan. And they'll say, hey, if you go with my premium tier, this is included. I actually include this for you. Now, what they usually do with their, their middle tier is, which um, they'll, they'll just say, hey, guys, because I'm professional, you have, it's optional. So here's an optional tier. You could access this and they'll have the owner pay for it if they want to. Now, a lot of times now, companies have all different plans I've been seeing, but a lot of times their, their first tier is a lease only. Mm -hmm. And so they tell the lease only people, hey, you know, even though I'm leasing your house out, you can't get this. It's not available unless I manage your house. So it's just another chance to convert that lease only into a management. Very good. I like it. So let's talk through uh, some details here. Can you talk me through the underwriting process? Like which, which company is, you know, talking about uh, underwriting you guys? Who have you been working with? Well, what's really great with this is I even find a lot of millennials even though I'm giving a jab yeah, at millennials yeah. here. <laughs> but I've actually asked a couple. So we're, we're actually underwritten through Lloyd's of London, which is a very credible, the yeah. world's biggest, oldest um, insurance company. I saw a stat the other day that somebody said they've been writing insurance since like 1680. Is that well, true? Right. well, they wrote the Titanic and that wasn't one of their better, yeah, yeah, one, yeah. wasn't one of their better deals, but. but something like that, I think might've been Todd, that Todd Breen that made that post uh, or he made a comment that, you know, Lloyd's of London has been underwriting insurance since like 1682. I'm like, wow, well, that's, that's a long time. <laughs> one of the things I like about it is it just lands. So like I, I have on my website, you know, you know, Shorevestor, you know, you know, insurance range through Lloyd's of London and owners, you know, they recognize Lloyd's of London. They know this is not a fly by night 
thing out of somebody's garage. So again, it, it adds to me um, validity to the property manager. It shows credibility. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, they're telling them, hey, you get access to this because I'm a professional property manager. That owner see, hey, this is through Lloyd's in London. This is real stuff. It's not some Mickey Mickey Mouse program. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty. That's powerful stuff because you know, one of the 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 fears is what happens if you go away. Right. You know, that's always your, something you're going to hear. Well, what happens if, you know, you get sold or you get bought or whatever? And, you know, what, what's happened to you guys? Well, that's, you know, people that know insurance, they always get worried about that stuff. Uh, and, you know, it's good to know that you're underwritten by a large, yeah. one of the largest entities you can think of. And so that's very uh, encouraging. So I want to switch gears and talk about the NARPM National Conference. So uh, next week, we're going to the NARPM National Conference. We're exhibiting, BizDev Masterminds are exhibiting. We're doing the 5K on uh, Wednesday morning, that's going to be the PM Health Group 5K, and then you're there exhibiting, but you have some heavy hitters coming. Oh, big time. So, you know, we kind of talked a little bit about where this insurance is from, and so um, Terry Shear invented this in Australia. She created this. Let's How long ago was that? Uh, over 20 years ago. Yeah, okay, so she's been doing it quite a while. So so this is this is not a new concept, and, and about 70% of landlords use this in Australia. And wait, 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 time out. Don't let that skip through your, your mind there. It's huge. 70%, right? right? Did I catch that right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So seven out of 10 landlords use this type of insurance over there. Yeah. And so one of the big things, and we, we kind of started talking about how their market's so much difference, but 70% of properties are professionally managed. And now a lot of that is that they have all these rules and regulations, which are, seem like they're coming to the States. And as much as Brad and I were talking earlier, I, hate to have the government in my life. I like to keep the government far away, but the more, more of these rules and regulations that come out, it makes it harder for owners to manage themselves and just another reason to use a professional property manager. So one of the things that also they looked at in Australia is about 15% of the self-managed landlords moved over because of the insurance. So here in the States, I, I've been kind of looking at stats. So there's probably, I'm not round numbers off guys. So about 9 million investors own one door. They own, okay. So there's about 9 million with one door. And then your next group is two to five doors. You got about, I'm going to say 6 million. And there's only like 20 million um, total. So the numbers really start at, you know, the more doors they have, the, those numbers really, you know, there's like very few people that have 500 doors that they own. So the bulk of our business, and, and people could just look at their portfolios, they either own one door or they're between two to five. I mean, mm -hmm. you get in, and so those numbers decrease a lot. And so one of the things that they find is a lot of these people, when, when they get the insurance, they buy more properties and they keep properties longer, which is perfect for our industry. Yeah, I mean, less losses, less, less yeah. worry, less stress that, that leads yeah. them to own the properties longer, you know, because one of the things that's been killing us in our business and you, you two here in San sales. Antonio is the, the churn, right? Yeah. The sales. I mean, yeah. I didn't have to finish my sentence and Kevin know where I was going with this yeah. because you know, we you sign up 10 and you lose eight because the darn sales, it just, yeah. it's tough for us in San Antonio to really gain that traction. You know, they did add a lot of doors. We're, we're doing steady on the adding of the doors, but you know, it just seems like one step forward and, and almost yeah. 0.8 steps back. So it's been frustrating for us. So, you know, knock on wood for a good recession some, some sometime in the near future. But uh, so the NARPM National, so you have some heavy hitters. You have Terry Shear coming yeah, in. Terry Shear's coming in. And then you had some folks from Lloyd's. Yeah, yeah we, have a, we have a guy actually, his name's Kevin. He's uh, coming in from, um, from London, from Lloyd's. Um, we're bringing in a Emmy Award winning film director and film crew. So um, he's going to be doing a couple things. He's going to be shooting some video intros um, so property managers are signing up to get video intros done so they could, you know, personally brand some of the videos. And we also have a little blog series for owners, you know, it just kind of walks the owners through the advantages of having rental properties and different things that uh, property managers could use on their website. And again, they could kind of make the intro. We'll put all this together free professionally and we're giving the videos um, to the property managers for free. That's excellent. Very good stuff. So I also uh, wanted to, point out that you guys are going to be exhibiting at the property manager mastermind conference in March. Yeah. Kevin signed up as a, an exhibitor with, with Surevestor, So they're going to be there. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. You know, a lot of it as we discussed with the advertisers is to make sure the advertisers have a very good experience with the attendees and the attendees have a very good experience with the advertisers. So we're working and looking to ensure that's a very good interaction. So 
all parties have a very good uh, experience and they want to come back time and time again. That's really our long-term goal is to make a very good experience for everybody, advertisers and attendees. Because when I started going to conferences years ago because of Kevin's, you know, ribbing me to go to these conferences, I started to learn so much from the advertisers. You know, if you can wrangle up an advertiser for 20, 30 minutes, you know, great example is we were talking about a new pie. You know, we're, we're talking about, uh, What's her Planet what's Synergy? Planet Synergy. Thank you. I was blanking yeah. for a second. So a new pie, a new pie with Planet Synergy. We talked about that of how the interaction with her in person meant so much more because of being able to go to the conference, just having five or ten or fifteen minutes, and then of course you know the real work is followed up later on. But having that interaction with the attend with the uh, advertisers there in person is is huge. And so the other part I want to make sure you guys don't slip by you. Don't let slip by you is if you sign up for the PM Health 5K. Surebester is going to sponsor you guys. Up to so the, 10. Up, up to 10. The right. First the, 10 the first 10 <laughs> that like and get, want to get sponsored right. for that 5K, you know, the Surebester is going to pony up and, and pay for that. Uh, the BizDev Mastermind bought the t-shirt, so that's going to be there as part of the, the 5K run. So that'll be a neat little thing. And that's all part of the PM Health Group that, you know, we're, we're really trying to get going and make popular because we think it's important. A lot of times we are, as property managers, we're neglecting what we're doing in our health. We have so much things going on. We're wearing 20 hats of going... 10 different ways. And a lot of times the health side falls to the wayside. And it doesn't mean you got to run out and do a triathlon. It just means, okay, let's eat healthy. Uh, let's maybe get a little exercise in your life and let's get into a re routine where you're doing this and it's very easy for you to do. And this is not meant to be a, you know, a motivational presentation gang. So, you know, we're not going to be taking our shoes off, walking on hot coals yeah. anytime soon. But tell me something I don't know about Surebest. Well, I, I got a couple of things before yeah. we jump there. So, well, first of all, best way to improve your business is improve your health. Agreed. Uh, next thing, you know, you know, we, we mentioned I, I'm 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 I've been doing property management for over 35 years. I can't even count how many conferences I've been to. But I'm going to tell you one of the biggest things I learned because you got a big conference coming up. Mm -hmm. One and, and you know these conferences, you know, they take time. You know, you got airfare, or hotels, the cost of going to the conference. But what I've learned is I cannot afford not to go to the conferences. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, and it could be, I mean, it might be in the classroom, it might be at the bar, it might be a new vendor for my business. I mean, one, one conference, the very first day at the bar, I picked up a $40,000 tip. Mm -hmm. and, and I just learned, it's like, every time I go to a conference, I bring back something that's worth five, 10 times what the cost of the conference was. Yeah. So I just can't stress enough, it's, as property managers, we should never get out of the thing, oh, I'm too busy, I can't go. It's like, you know, never stop learning. Always keep improving your business because believe me, the other guy is, I got Brad in my market, you know, <laughs> master implementer, and I try to keep up with them. But um, you, you just gotta do that stuff. And I think that's important because you, Surevestor, might be the new vendor that makes a difference for them. Oh, it's huge. You know, it's huge. we can't assume as marketing people, I mean, I, we're, we're doing this conference thing and you're doing the Surevestor thing. Never assume people have heard about you, right? Yeah. Never assume people even know who you are, right? Yeah. Just never make that assumption. And so we are constantly talking about what we do. So to get that word out, because this really could impact somebody's business oh. is being able to one, go to a conference and two, to meet a quality vendor like yourselves yeah. and find out, okay, I understand what you do, but how do you implement it? Well, when I implemented in my business, this is the conversation you're having with somebody. When we implemented this into our property manager business, this is what we did. And so you're coming from an angle of you are property managers. You know all the legal ins and outs. You know all the paperwork. You know the pushback. You know the, the positives, the pros, the cons. I mean, the pushback is always going to come from internally. Like no owner is going to look at this and say, I don't like it. Right? It's, yeah. it's a no-brainer. But the, the staff, you know, they're always going to push back on any change. That's just something you got to know. You know, we love our team, but they're always going to say, I don't want to make that change because of 10 different reasons yeah. that don't even make sense. But yeah. that's here and there. So keep going with telling right. me some yeah, stuff. Let me go I'm back sure to the okay. I, I, you know, We're talking about, you know, improving businesses, mm -hmm. going to conferences. So I just, I get, I get all the, t I get a lot of testimonials from different property managers and stuff. And it's, it, I just can't stress enough that this addresses what owners want. And by that they could only get it through a property manager, it's just such a unique point of difference. Separate yourself from the competition. You know, it's, it's easy implementation. You know, 30 minutes or less, you're up and running on this. It's, it's easy, it's just, there's nothing hard about it. It's just easy. The biggest thing with, with Surevestor is having owner sign an opt-in, opt-out form. All right, let's get a real techie nerd question going. You ready? Yep. 
So there's some sort of portal. Yes. Right? Yeah, explain that to me. Just explain that okay. to the audience too. Okay, so, so owners cannot get this direct. You know, they have to go through a property manager. And so what we've done is we have a portal where owners or owners, property managers can request the coverage for the, for the owner. And so basically you just go on and say, hey, I want, you know, this guy wants this plan and we want to start this date. And within, you know, they, they request it usually within a couple minutes, the, the, the policy is already approved, already sent. The owner gets a copy of the policy or certificate of insurance. The property manager gets one. Uh, the property manager gets the invoice because they also pay, like they just treat us like another vendor, pay the invoice. Um, now, currently it's paid up front, so it's not monthly. We will have, probably within 30 days, we'll have it where they can make it in four monthly payments, which that'll, that'll help out a lot. And the reason I would encourage you to do that is what if the owner bails? What if the well, owner is, you know, a bad person and you have to fire them? That's, so it's real insurance. It's prorated. Okay. Well, so, 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 the, so the, the, there's a 21 day cooling off period. So if, if for some reason the owner says, well, I didn't want that and you know, full refund 21 days, but this is, so if they fire you and they leave, you cancel that policy. So if you paid for the policy and they, and you know, in your premium plan and now that owner's left, well, you cancel it and you get the refund. Yeah. So, and one of the really nice things that that's really nice is when sure. So we just had a claim recently. And within one day of, of the, the, the property manager um, submitting everything, uh, we had a check in the mail to them. Excellent. And so, so basically they got loss of rent, they got the eviction cost, they got the rekeying on this one. Now, if okay. they would add other stuff, if they would add malicious damage, they would also got that. So it's not just the loss of rent. You know, you get loss of rent plus any malicious damage plus the eviction cost and, you know, rekeying and, and, you know, just whatever else. But the, so it's, so yeah, we, we, the payout's fast. We turn it around real quick. I'm getting excited, guys. So I'm I know, it's okay. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm, I can even ask this question. You have to tell me if you can even answer it. Are you able to talk costs on the air? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so we, we actually have three levels of coverage. We've got the essential, which is the very minimal for like kind of a seasoned investor that just wants a little bit of coverage. Uh, we have the Then we have the premier, which is uh, from rents from 1,000 to 2,000, 355. And then we have the ultimate, which is um, 395. And there are a little bit of taxes and stamping fees, like in San Antonio, that comes out to 415. And so what, a, and, and you know, people are like, oh, my owner won't pay for this. We, we have some companies, they only offer it optional and they have owners signing up left and right. Mm -hmm. the owner, this, this just addresses their, their, their biggest concerns. And, you know, and now they know, Faye, for really a fairly small amount that they're going to get any loss of rent that comes up and malicious damage and stuff. It's like the optional, uh, the optional offer of outside of um, any normal plan that, you, okay, I'm getting jumbled too. I'm trying to put my <laughs> thoughts together. The optional idea is outstanding because, you know, conceptually you think, all right, I'm going to bury this in my biggest plan. Uh, you know, yeah. it's going to cost me X up front and then I'm going to raise my biggest plan premium just a little bit to maybe offset it. Maybe there's some margin there for me. But just offering this on an optional basis might be a pretty good solution for somebody who's just maybe want to, let's say they're even nervous about trying it. Well, okay, just potentially you could sign up and offer it as an optional thing. That might be a very good test run, as they say. What do you think? It, uh, it, awesome. Well, you know Megan. So we, uh, we'll yeah. bring up Megan, Megan Breen. She's, you know, ba basically when she got signed up, she went out to a call and she, you know. Pretty, yeah, Megan, Megan Breen is Todd Breen's daughter. daughter yeah. And Todd's one of the founders of Surevestor right. and congratulations Megan on your, your new Her baby. New baby, right? Yep, congrats. So back to Megan's story. Go ahead. Tell her happy birthday. Oh yeah, happy birthday. We always, <laughs> you know, it's your birthday every time we go to a dinner. But um so so basically Megan gets a call on a really nice house, twenty five hundred dollar rental. And so she goes out and they're and you know you know so she's going over the pitch and you know she's never even talked about Surevestor before. And right away, the owner's asking, well, what about, what if this happens to my house? What if this happens? And she goes, well, we just got this. Here's, and here's what it covers. They signed up with her on the spot. They email her back two days later and said, we went with you over the other guy because you had the insurance and they did. It's huge differentiator for yeah, management that's, companies. I think you make a solid point there for sure. Yeah, well said. Um, that's a huge point of difference. I mean, the more you think about it, the yeah. more it makes sense. It's actually outstanding stuff. Okay. Yeah. What other stuff do I not know about Surevestor? Well, the, you know, 
to me, it's just, it's just so easy to implement. The, and the biggest thing is using, so really the real key, you know, you throw a flyer in your presentation, you, your BDM needs to be on board. You gotta get your BDM on board. So you put a, you put a flyer in the presentation and, and you use an opt-in, opt-out form because you never, you always get that one owner that said, hey, I got an eviction now and I told Mark to, to, I wanted that insurance and he didn't do it. And now I got all, now, now what are you gonna to do to make this right? And it's like, um, well, no, um, no, your husband, Sally, um, said, um, no, he didn't want it because it was optional. Or, you know, they went for the little bit cheaper plan and now they wish they had the higher plan. So, you, so the biggest thing is you just put it part of your denim opt in opt out form. Now the, really the other big one, cause a lot of people are putting this in their premium plan because it makes their premium plan look really attractive. So this is real insurance you cannot directly mark up the insurance. Okay. And so, so when, when people are figuring out their premium plan and coming up with the plan, it's like, okay, it, you know, so if it breaks down to $35 a month, the shore wrestler section is not 40. You could, you know, you add your other things in to come up with what your premium plan is. And so I got to tell you one of the things I did, I just did something a little different at Liberty. I went from three tier to single plan. And here's why, because I had one uh, just recently where um, it, on my normal, my, my middle plan, which it was optional, they opted out. And at the time I'm like, well, no big deal. And, and I didn't think it was a big deal, but then we had a problem that would have been covered under Shorevestor. Mm. And, and, and you can't really go back and say, well, you could have had the insurance, stupid, but. Yeah, <laughs> I would like to. Yeah, yeah. would have liked to, but, but basically they fired me. Okay. Um, they, they went to birdies. So I lost an account. <laughs> yes. And then uh, on top of that, they wanted to sue me, but I think their attorney said, you don't have a case against them. It was the tenant. So now what I've done is I, I've gone in and I'm offering them short vester for basically I'm saying over 50% off 200 bucks to get short vester. Mm. And so they're seeing all these big bullet, you know, $50,000 malicious damage, 7,000 eviction, 25,000 theft and all these, you know, eight weeks skip, you know, lost, lost rent. So they're seeing all these big things in my plan. And then it's like over 50%, you know, you know, 10 percent doesn't get my attention or 20, but you tell me something's over 50% off and you got my attention now. So now they're seeing it's 200 bucks. So last, uh, last month I generated 60 management leads the month before I generated about 90. And so it's really pulling in the lead. So we'll, we'll, we'll that's a big part of it. Yeah. I mean, the, the biz dev stuff is really going to make a big difference there. So, also, Brian Birdie, make sure you pay attention to that C-class <laughs> landlord that Kevin just sent you. Uh, good luck with that. Also, talking about the biz dev stuff. So the, we've put on and we're setting up a biz dev seminar. So it's bizdevseminar.com. Our first iteration of this is going to be in January. We're going to be talking all through basically the RentWorks playbook of everything from Scott Brady talking about high-level pricing to include differentiators like this, all the way down to taking your shoes off at the front door. I mean, it, we're going from yeah. top to bottom on the biz dev, all practices. My three business development team members here are going to be in, in that presentation. PMW is going to be there presenting on their website. And also Lead Simple is going to be there talking about their platform and doing a user demo. So it's going to be a fantastic seminar that's going to be regimented to where we're doing it every January. And then we're going to be doing a second one every July. And it's going to be East Coast, West Coast. First one's going to be Atlanta in January. And the second one we're planning is July in Seattle. So East Coast, West Coast, summer, fall concept. So summer, uh, uh, winter concept there. That's going to be part of it. I think we're going to talk on offline here about maybe getting you guys there to potentially sponsor a, yeah, yeah. an exhibit as a booth because where I'm going with this, I'm making a point, not a self-promotion. The point is the marketing materials. We show people how to do all these in the BizDev Mastermind and we give them the publisher outfit. They're basically the Microsoft Word publisher format change the logos there's your publication we have checklists for everything we show them how to do this the surebester flyer that could go into that packet into one of your folders is something that i think could be very powerful in the biz dev development process i mean that's going to be your presentation I mean, you have to get really good at this stuff to get and win new business it's a very competitive market out there we hope to show you how so keep telling me about something i don't know about surebester okay well, i'm gonna back up real quick so you know, so, you know, we're talking about marketing and all this stuff. So I, I look at San Antonio, we got, you know, we, we basically have 300, three 800 pound gorilla companies. At we, least. Got, we got Rentworks, one of the biggest. We got Liberty, my company. We got Brian Birdie, 
So very competitive market. Very competitive. Right? And where we say competitive, and this is from like Dave Borden, for example, he'll say the SEO and the, the Google analytics right. in the San Antonio region are some of the most competitive in the country. So keep going. Right. So one of the things I find is with, with, this, with Shorevestor, with this product, we, we are going to be pulling in so many self-managed landlords. There's, you know, to me, if, if in, so we were talking about like there's 15 million kind of prop, properties investors that are in that smaller group. So if we pull in 10% of that, that's a million 500,000 properties. You know, NARPM only manages about a million properties under NARPM. So if, if within the next 10 years, so if we're able to pull a million and a half in, that's doubling the number of doors that could be under NARPM. So that is more business than, so I, I just don't want people to think that it's not a scarcity mindset, guys. There is more business out there than you can handle. You just need to know how to sign it up. Yeah, we haven't even scratched the surface. You know, we're the inverse of Australia. We're at a 30-70, yeah. they're at a 70-30. We've always said this a hundred different times and there's just plenty of business. There's no reason to go outside of your market if you have a big market to try and expand into other markets unless you just have an acquisition opportunity. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's one of the things I talk about with other folks. And uh, I think, you know, for example, in San Antonio, there's, there's such a giant market. We're, we're sitting at 900 plus or minus single family homes right now. And there's no reason for me to move to Washington State and open up a management company you know, outside of this market because there's, there's so much growth potential here yeah. for both of us. Yeah. We could both be at 2,000, 3,000 homes, and we really wouldn't be bumping into each other that much. There's just so much out there in these big, big metro areas. So anyway, just a, a tidbit yeah. on that, you know, as far as, you know, folks trying to get excited and go to 10 different other markets and open up all the offices yeah. that they can and just, you know, the day, stay with where you are and, and blow it up where you are. Yeah, and I just don't want them to have that scared. I, I see that out there where they're like, you know, it's like, guys, Brad and I share best practices all the time. We're in the same market. Sometimes we do go head to head. Actually, we, I probably go head to head. Our, my BDM probably goes head to head with Brad's BDM more often than not because Brad's really out there in our market and, and I try to be, a, be too, but there's still, it doesn't, you know, if Brad gets half of them and I get the other half, it's, there's still more business. Than yeah, there's, so honestly, could you handle 200 homes to sign up today? I mean, it would be a challenge, no. <laughs> you understand? I'd work on it. We'd work on it. Of course, we would not turn it down, yeah. but it, you know, there's also something to be said about just slow, steady growth, okay? Yeah. Just, you know, we're doing 25 to 30 new signups a month and it's not overwhelming our team. So that, you, you know, again, you might lose 10 or 20 because of the dang churn, the sales, but we're still, you know, doing that yeah. 25 to 30 homes a month pretty consistently each month. And of course you get big months where you might get 40 or 50, but um, yeah. so. On the biz dev side, I think that's pretty outstanding to be able to make this a point of difference in the Surevestor concept. Um, so let's let's kind of start to look to wrap this up. Kind of give me one more tidbit from the Surevestor that might be exciting. Well, one of the one of the things I find is you know because we we have flat rate pricing, it's really easy in to to figure into your pricing model. Now we do have a few different plans. So when people are doing it in their premium plan, they really need to go with the 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 ultimate. Okay. You do not put a cheaper coverage into your premium plan right. because then what you're doing is you're making the decision for an owner. Oh, we're just giving you the, the, the cheaper coverage. There's only $40 a difference a year. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's one thing if the owner picks the cheaper plan and say, well, we're sorry. Like I got, I got a feeling that this one that we just paid, he actually went with the middle plan. And he probably would have got a little bit more money if he would have gone with the next level up. So as property managers, it's like, hey, guys, when you're, when you're figuring it out, how I'm going to incorporate this in, if you're including it, where you're actually paying for it, it's easy when it's optional. Hey, it's optional. If you want it, fine. You don't just, just pick. Uh, not, not a problem. But when you're putting it in there, always recommend that you go with that, the, the ultimate coverage. That's, that way, if it's, let's say they had $100,000 of malicious damage, you know, we, we had that one, this Steve, Steve had that one where they had the grow house, you know, that was oh, that's right. $80,000 yeah. damage. Well, if Shore Vessel would only covered 50, at least you gave the owner the highest plan and not one that was a little cheaper with thousands of dollars less coverage and you're trying to save 40 bucks. So that's so. one of Stephen Foster's favorite <laughs> stories. If you ever see him, former NARPM president, he was uh, used to own a management company here in San Antonio, still working with, uh, what's the name of the company? Um, Home River. Home River. Thank you. Just blanking all these things in my head. But the point of the story is he had a grow house, right? In, 
one of his homes that they managed, the CPS bills were going through the roof, right? And so the CPS actually shut down the house the whole and, block. and the whole block, right? And the house was still glowing. So yeah. it, he, he had a marijuana grow house in there and they had to go in and do all the remediation. It was just a mess, nightmare. They tunneled through the concrete foundation all the way to the power box in the backyard. <sighs> Serious stuff. So crazy stuff happens out there, but um, yeah. That's good stuff. So we expect to see you at the NARPM National coming up. Definitely. And then also the Property Management Mastermind Conference going on in March of 2020. You've already signed up as a bronze sponsor. Yep. Appreciate that. We're looking forward to having you there. And people can check you out at surevestor.com. Yes. And uh, let me see real quick here. So really, it's super easy to implement. Great point of difference. Uh, I know there's more. I know there's some more I should say, but it's, it's really, it's, it, oh, okay. So coverage to, to start it. So a lot of times if you haven't, like say one of your current owners wants the coverage. Oh, good question. And, yeah. and, and so your current owner says, hey, sign me up. Cause you should at least send an email to your current owners just as a, you know, your due diligence, you know, your care for your owners and say, hey, by the way, owners, you know, we, we just got this, you know, because we're professional, you have access to this. Uh, this way you're letting your current, current owners know about, it. you probably won't have a great uptake, but you may have a few. So. Uh, so one of the requirements is if there's a tenant in place, they've had to pay their last two months, on, the previous two months on time. Okay. So we're not going to take somebody who's are, are, are already in default, but yeah, really fair. To, two months isn't very long. If right. they can't pay two months in a row on time. But so if they've already paid the two months on, on time, you could, they could start right away. Uh, uh, new accounts, when they're signing up new doors, they could go ahead and since they've approved the tenant, we, they could just start it that the day they want, you know, we, there's no, there's no other screening price. So we don't, unlike some companies, we don't have flexible, you know, we're not all, you know, it's, it's like, Hey, they could pick a plan, but we're not going to go, well, this property is this much, or we want to see the tenant's credit report and all this other stuff. It's just so easy. It's like, yeah, the, it depends. Pricing could be, I don't know. It's a little tough to gauge and yeah. tell people about versus they have a fixed fee pricing. It's, yeah. You know, and, and we designed ours. Closure to be just through, we don't need that adjustable because we're going with, hey, it's professionally managed. We could do this pricing. Yeah, I think that's outstanding. Yeah. Kevin, thanks so much for coming on. This has been a fantastic yeah. episode. Really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you at the Now from National, of course, the Property Manager Mastermind Conference. Yeah. And be sure to check him out at surevestor.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will check with you next time. Take care. All right. See you at the conference. You bet. This show is sponsored by the best home inspection software on the market for property managers. We endorse and use Z Inspector as our software of choice for our team to document home inspections. We particularly like their 360 degrees camera system that produces amazing views of the interior room. Your clients will love Z Inspector documented inspections you provide them. Visit www.zinspector.com to learn more. This has been a podcast episode by propertymanagementproductions.com. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast, leave us feedback, and come back for our next episode.